Hello and welcome to this tutorial in which I'll be showing you how to connect a C Sharp application to an Access database. So, first of all, let's open Visual Studio to create our C Sharp application. So, for this tutorial, you will need uh, Microsoft Visual Studio uh, 2008 or 2010 or 2013, whichever you have. Our and uh, Microsoft Access 2013 or 2010 or 2007 whichever you have so let's just begin and create a new project and let's give it the name of database connection and click OK. <coughs> so this will create our new project. And it will take some time to load up the solutions. And here it is. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open the solutions in the Windows Explorer also so that if you need to create some files we can so let's just minimize that okay so this is our form in which we will be first inserting values into the database uh, which will be mostly uh, the part we'll be covering in this tutorial and there will be more tutorials that I'll be creating on using the other updating and deleting and this using the select statement also so let's just pull down this all windows form and let's just give it this name uh, form a name first let's go to the properties and let's put this in the center here and I'm going to name this access db connection which is actually the label of the form so let's just uh, create a form, simple form here. With yeah, let's just give it the label insert and put it right here and give it an instance name of btn underscore insert. Now let's just create two text boxes. Here they are, and one will be for the name, and the other one is going to be for age. Yeah, let's just bring them over here and create two labels like this. Let's align them carefully so it will go a bit better yep. yeah now let's just give this the text name and this the text age and now this is this looks a little bit better not a lot better but it will do what we need it to. okay let's just you know delete that and bring a numeric up down for age so that the user may not enter something like a text for the age which is which needs to be numeric and let's just small it reduce its size a little bit and I think we sh should yeah but it's fine okay enough with the designing I know it's not impressive but it will show you uh, what uh, is the theme of this tutorial that is connecting to the access database let me check my time over here it's already been four minutes so let's just get to it so first of all we need to create a class so we'll go to our solution explorer 
and oh we forgot two things we forgot to give these two instant names so let's, do, let's go over to the properties real quick and do that I'm going to name this txt underscore name and for the age I'm going to put in txt underscore age and this is the BDN insert age and name so now let's just go to the part where I was saying we need to create a class so let's just create a class inside this I'm going to create add and cl add class so we're going to name this class the connection the connection and let's add it and uh, here we have it yep here it is so we need to make <coughs> a few imports here <coughs> uh, sorry let's just uh, it's going to be system dot data dot o l e d b yes that's the one and another it is using system dot data dot command data dot o l e d b dot command or it that I don't know, remember it right now but we'll get that you know it will import it for us that's Visual Studio so we don't need to worry about that so the first thing is we need to create a connection object that is OLEDB connection and I'm going to say it connection and for the semicolon here and another thing is OLEDB command and that is going to be command now let's just create our constructor and that is public the connection and let's just initialize the variables that we created above well db connection and here is the constructor which is going to take the connection string which we'll be providing in here later so let's just leave it like this for now and initialize our command object will be command equals connection dot sorry connection dot sorry connection dot create command and that's it so now let's just uh, go over to our explorer and create a new access database and here it is it is and I'm going to name it simple I'll say user and let's open it and yeah, click enable content and inside we're going to create a new table and let's just name it uh, ID yeah it's going to be auto number yep that's it and there is going to be a name yep alright which you should say user name and make it all smile and the age and that is going to be yeah well it's fine with the short text I'm going to say user let's just say users and okay and it says we have to find a primary key which is we should have this ID is a primary key users and now save as, save it as like that close the design view and let's open it in the data sheet view so well, let me check the time it's already been nine minutes so let's just quick things up a little bit so we have the connection and what we need to do is we need to create uh, the method that is what we void and I'm going to call it insert and what we'll be inserting inside of our database we're going to be passing it here and I'm going to be inserting a person P and we haven't created this person class yet so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to be creating this class we create a new class we name it person and here we are so let's just quickly add 
three properties. One is going to be the ID. The other one will be the string name. And the last one is going to be the integer age. Now let's just encapsulate them so to get the getter and setter, make them actually properties. And let's do this for all of the properties inside here. And it's going to be okay. Let's see. I should do this. Name and age. Yep. Yeah. Now it's going to rename them in a way that it's going to be capitalized. Yep. We got the property name. And same for we are going to do for the age. And OK and apply. So here we are. We have these three properties in our class. Now let's just go ahead into the connection and we have we're, we're going to do is we're going to pass a person into this insert method and we're going to say command that command text equals and then we're going to insert a query in here insert into users and insert into users and we're going to tell which values we're going to be inserting and let's just do it. one we are inserting the username and age so the first is the username and the other one is the age and the values will be let's, um, the first one is going to be yep, and we're going to append on actually we're going to be needing this single code and Let's just complete the string and oh sorry and create another plus here and here and like this we will, we will say p dot name so that should get rid of the error and after that we need to create a new string and two pluses here and I'm going to say p dot age. So I guess that's fine. So now let's just do some housekeeping stuff. Command type, and that will be equal to system data command type dot text. Yeah, this is what I was trying to import. And okay, <coughs> now let's just uh, what we do next is we open up the connection yeah we simply do connection dot open and command dot execute non query and yeah we missed one thing we need to do this in a try catch block and we catch an exception here exception ex and we output that in a message box ex dot message yep that's fine and yeah we do that in the try to well, that's actually what try cache is for when you execute the query and uh, finally we close the connection so I guess that's time for us so I'll be continuing this in the next tutorial so stay tuned